All right, hey there. This is Hate's Wanderings, and today we are doing uh, something a little bit different here. Uh, I've been thinking about this upcoming summer, and I've been going about planning some trips on some new water and some old water, and I thought it'd be really good to inform you guys how I go about gauging the difficulty when it comes to kayak fishing new water. So the way I gauge difficulty on the water uh, when I kayak fish is different than when I just go kayaking by myself. Kayaking, 100% of your focus is paddling, positioning, um, reading the water as in uh, obstacles are coming up and bypassing those obstacles. So kayaking, all of your energies, all of your thought is going into doing that. Um, kayak fishing on the other hand is a big difference because I'd say 95% of your thought power is going into the fishing aspect. And so you have a very small amount of your uh, energy, thoughts, whatever is going into the actual process of paddling, positioning, etc. So that being said, I have some videos here that I'm going to show you guys. These videos uh, are from the last couple years of fishing on the water and different rivers, uh, a bunch of different river systems, and I'm going to show you water that I consider Kayak fishing level one, kayak fishing level two, and kayak fishing level three. So for kayak fishing level one, this is going to be calm water. This is going to be water that's usually wide, wide, shallow. It has a current, but there really isn't any danger of tipping because even if you bumped into something, there's not really much of a current and there's not really danger involved. An absolute beginner who's never kayak fished before could go on a kayak level one river and be just fine. Now, there are probably some sections on a kayak level one river where you might have to put your, you know, your pole away and you might have to paddle for a minute or two, but generally speaking, it's totally doable by a complete novice. So these videos right here that you're watching, um, this is showing what I'm talking about. A little bit of water, you know, that you need to paddle around and paddle in, but not that much. You can usually just kind of float on down and there's no problems. Kayak level two fishing is a little bit different and this is water that starts to pose a few challenges specifically it's water that there is actually the potential for obstacles mid-river or side river that could impede your kayak that could create a sticky situation um, perhaps tip you perhaps you know uh, get in the way of your fishing equipment etc um, so you're going to see right here, I'm showing you, this river is a section where it gets narrow, it's fast, you have to paddle around rocks and down to trees. Um, these sections, while they're not dangerous, it's just that they pose difficulty. If you get a fish in one of these situations, you really need to be aware that sometimes when I'm kayak fishing, I have to stow my rod, even if I have a fish on, and I have to paddle hard to get to a place where I can then land that fish. So kayak level two, it's doable by somebody that has a little bit of kayaking experience. Um, and really the main point is just being aware. What's in the river? Where are you at? You're coming up on an area and you need to know, maybe you put the pole away, Maybe be aware that there's rocks center current that could potentially cause issues. That's kayak fishing river level two. 
Kayak fishing level three is a little bit more extreme. Uh, it's a river that you have to, in some sections, completely get out of your kayak and portage or portage around some obstacle. Maybe that obstacle is a beaver dam. Maybe that obstacle is a set of rapids. Maybe it's an actual water drop. So I don't say waterfall because they're not true waterfalls, but maybe it's a drop of two feet, okay? And while a normal kayak could easily go through these areas, you have hundreds of dollars of gear in a fishing kayak and it's not worth the risk. So if you have to get out, you have to portage some type of an obstacle, that's what I'm starting to consider um, level three uh, water. Um, and for those of you that are researching rivers, looking ahead, thinking about starting your own trips or maybe going with a guide, for instance, um, it's important to understand what level you're willing to do, what level you want to do, how extreme of a day you're looking for. Now, I love doing these level three fishing operations because they're remote, they're wild. Sometimes the adventure is just getting to the location, but you don't do as much fishing because you have to portage, you have to get around stuff. Maybe portaging is taking a line and walking it down the riverbank, uh, jumping around rocks, etc. It's fun. Sometimes it's a little bit dangerous, but it's so much of an adventure. However, not everybody wants an adventure like that. Sometimes you just want to fish uh, in semi-calm water, and I do that as well. So when you're looking for an adventure and you're thinking about what you're going to do, uh, plan it out ahead of time. There's nothing worse than getting on the river, having no idea what's in front of you, and basically fishing, you're fishing blind because you, you don't know what's coming, and all of your energy thought process is going into the aspect of fishing, and you're not thinking about paddling. So I encourage people in these situations to, you know, find, find somebody with experience that has been on those rivers, been in these situations, and that allows you as, you know, the angler paddler to know what's coming up, uh, where you can fish safely, when you should stow that rod and really start to paddle, and when you should get out and go around an obstacle. Uh, I'm going to leave you guys this last clip here. This is me going through a set of rapids, and, you know... I could have made it. I think I should have made it. I didn't paddle very well, but uh, but I learned a lot that day. What I learned is kayaking and kayak fishing are not the same thing. If you're out there to kayak and have fun in white water, don't bring your gear. It's not worth it. Um, but if you're out there to fish, be smart, avoid things that should be avoided, and I think that's about it. All right, so just a very quick recap. Uh, three types, in my opinion, three types of water out there that you can kayak fish, or that at least I kayak fish. Level one, calm water, anybody can do it. Level two, sometimes shorter, narrower sections, skinny water, sometimes there's obstacles, things that you could get hung up on, on the kayak. You need to have a little bit of experience. Uh, moderate amount of experience, just fine. And then the third level is that level three. It doesn't mean the water's crazy advanced. No, it just means that there are areas that you really have to get out and to avoid obstacles. Sometimes it's fairly calm for the whole day and there's one big obstacle, but you need to have the experience to be able to easily, quickly, and efficiently get in and out of your kayak and also be able to portage it. Um, if you can do those things, then so many river systems open up to you. All right, so if any of you are looking into taking a trip this summer, you wanna go fishing, you wanna do musky, you wanna do bass, something like that, um, you're interested in it, but you don't really know much about it, 
let me know. Go to my website in the description box, contact me, send me an email, and you know, perhaps we can get on out there, perhaps I could take you. I am taking out uh, select, um, select people onto the river, so I have a few openings this summer. If anybody's interested in that, let me know. Um, my daughter's being born in another month, so I'm not going to have nearly as much time this summer to go fishing. Um, so if anybody is looking forward to doing a trip in my neck of the woods, if you're interested about it, you want to set it up with me and plan ahead, please contact me. I'd be interested in getting in contact with you and figuring that out. All right, guys. As always, this is Hate's Wanderings. Catch, release, wander. Stay safe on the water. I know it's cold. There's ice out there right now, but soon, three months, four months, that water's going to be free, and I'll be at, back out there chasing muskie, chasing smallmouth, and chasing some really good adventures. All right. See ya.